Hello Zebra Herd and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies. And today we're gonna to be continuing with the puzzle fun by doing the eye zombie levels. Now in the last episode, of course, we did all the vase breakers. So now it only makes sense to do all of the eye zombies. We'll be doing that in just a moment. First off, I wanted to show our fantastic progress with the Zen Garden. We already have a lot more going on and I have a lot of cash right now, 37,000. I've been putting that chocolate to work quite a lot. Um, maybe we'll even have enough to buy some new stuff today or maybe I could keep saving it, I'm not really sure. Um, especially since we won't really need any of it today. Uh, there's no upgrades we can buy that'll help us with our current puzzle, the eye zombie. So let's get started with this. I'm excited, it's a fun mini game. The zombies asked me to help them practice invading houses. I told them it'd be okay as long as no pants or plants were harmed. So uh, I put a bunch of cardboard cutouts on your lawn. Have fun, why are you helping the zombies? Let me guess, let me guess. It's because you're crazy. Eat all the brains to pass the level. So instead of lawn mowers at the end, there are brains. And instead of placing plants, we place zombies. So the idea here is that we wanna be careful because we only have 150 sun and every zombie you place costs sun. Well, how do you get more? Pretty simple, you place a zombie down, that's you know past that red line, and if they eat a sunflower, you'll actually get sun out of it, as we're about to find out. Now that can be a bit tricky as we go on, you'll be able to see pretty soon. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and get some sun for the sunflower, and we have other choices as well. Right now we have the brown coat a zombie, the buckethead zombie, and the football zombie. So with all of those guys, we're able to make this work. We should be able to get to the brain there. But you can see on the second lane, there are two squashes. So we wanna go ahead and get our cheapest zombie out just to get rid of that guy. We obviously don't wanna put out a super expensive buckethead just for him to get taken out by the squash. So we gotta keep that in mind. Now here, I probably wanna have a faster zombie because the snow pea is gonna slow him down and we get a coin for every uh, uh, brain we take out. So hopefully that's pretty good there. And there isn't too much opposition going on over this way, I don't think. So let's go ahead and line up two zombies. That way the pea shooter takes care of one of them and the other one can keep pushing and hopefully eat him. That's sort of my hope there. But it can be a little bit difficult to get by in some of these situations, which is why you gotta be careful. Um, okay, now with that said done, we can go ahead and get this bucket head there, and then get this zombie here. I mean, we could actually get an all-star over here again. So let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, I, I think you guys get the idea. It's a lot of fun. It's a little bit on the difficult side. Ooh, chocolate. Um, at times, this can be a very difficult mini game, but with enough timing and well practice, it can be great. Uh, it's really fun. Do I like it more than Vase Breaker though? I think so, actually. Um, I, I think it's a little bit different. And it's another one where I wish this mini game could have came back in some other way. Of course, you know, the idea of playing as zombies is really embraced in Garden Warfare. You, you know, that's half the game is playing zombies. And in PVZ Heroes, it's all the same. And of course, like I've said, in the console version of Plants vs. Zombies, the original, that came out on Xbox 360 and PS3, there's actually a multiplayer game mode where one player spawns the zombies while the other player spawns the plants. I've never really seen too much of that. But anyways, we're gonna move on to our next level, iZombie 2. <laughs> I like this one. As you can see, we have a different collection of zombies. We have the brown coat, screen door, and bucket head. So we're gonna have to be picky on how we wanna do this. I think that we wanna start with this one. Seems pretty easy. Go ahead and get a return on our investment really quickly. Since the screen doors are a little bit cheaper than the, um, oh, you know what, that's probably a bad idea to put that there because uh, while the screen doors might be, you know, just as offensive as a bucket head at times, maybe a little less, but they are just as susceptible to uh, spike weeds just as much as brown coats are. So that's where we have to be careful. So here's probably where I wanna mess with the, uh, Ice zombie, or not the ice zombie, the screen door zombie. But as you can see, it blocks off ice, which is really good. So if I want a zombie to get through here, I'm gonna have to place down a bucket head. Same thing here, but in the other lane, screen door zombie is our main man. So that's gonna be great. And maybe I'll like stack that up with a brown coat, that way we might be able to eat past the plants a little bit more quickly. That's always a good strategy, is that if you double up zombies, they'll eat up, you know, like if there's, you know, a brown coat and a screen door, they're gonna eat the plants twice as quickly. And that's really helpful. So, good to keep in mind. That's level two done, practically. I don't think that they're gonna stop us here. This bee shooter might be able to get rid of the screen door zombie's screen door, but the ice bee's gone, so it's not gonna slow him down. Okay, so that was pretty good. And it seems like we get a varying amount of money for each one, it can be a little bit random, and we get another diamond for completing it. So, awesome, awesome stuff. That's another one done. We got plenty more to go, though. I do find at times, at least, you know, the main levels, maybe not endless, uh, that eye zombie is a little bit more difficult. So, can you dig it? So, eat all the brains to pass this level, just as always, but you can tell it's a little bit of a twist this time. 
because we have the digger zombie. So I wanna be able to go ahead and choose a spot that's good. You might see down here we have a split P though, and that's a bit of an issue because those guys destroy the digger zombie. So I probably wanna start here because there's no chance of opposition. We got sunflower and a torchwood, so there's no way they can, uh, What's it go? There's no way they can attack this digger zombie. So he's just gonna make his way through nice and easy. And I mean, is that actually, now then hindsight, that was an awful idea. Because like I said, there's no way they could have attacked. So we could have just placed a brown cone and went one through. Well, that's silly. I don't know if going under this guy will still explode it. So I might as well just trigger it really quickly and then put another one. I am so silly though. I don't know why I put the uh, digger zombie there. Okay, well we'll try doing this. We'll explode still. It will, okay, lesson learned, lesson learned. Um, we're gonna put this there. And then we're gonna put this there because a Torchwood uh, pea shooter combo is not something we wanna deal with with just these zombies that we currently have. So if we could just dig in from behind, that's great. And then we can just put a brown coat down and he'll do the rest of the work for us. So I need to be careful here. But I should be just fine in the long run. And like I said, we'll do the double up strategy over here so that we can pass these plants even more quickly than normal. So that should be pretty good. And the moment this guy eats through this pea shooter down there, I'm gonna place this guy. That way we can just get on through. And that should be everything. We should have it completed with just that. So I don't know what kind of magic stuff Crazy Dave is doing to make cardboard cutouts actually attack. That's sort of the weird thing. It's like Crazy Dave just straight up a magician. Maybe he's one of the wizards that we see in other PBZ games. <laughs> That'd be odd. Anyways, we got another coin out of that. We're almost about to break 40,000 coins, which is an insane amount. I mean, I had around there, but then I bought some plant pots earlier. And there's another trophy. So boom, 40,800 coins. That's pretty gosh darn cool. And yeah, there's the third level done. So we're learning some pretty good strategies with this. Now we're moving on to totally nuts. And as you can see, all of the uh, plants are protected by a, a walnut of some sort. So that can be a bit of a pain, but that's why we have the ladder zombie. You can just put a ladder on top of that kind of stuff and just go right over. So we wanna go ahead and do that and hope that he can uh, get at least one of those and he can. So let me go ahead and pick all this up and put another brown kid over there real quick before this guy gets taken out. Okay, that's a good way to balance this. Once again, we're trying to double up the zombies so that they eat through more quickly. So which one do I wanna do next? It's a hard choice to make. I might wanna wait for these guys to yeah, get this sun and then I'm going to uh, Oh, I suppose we could do this. And the problem is he shoots through both of them, but they will eat more quickly. Come on guys, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, they're getting really destroyed real quick. I think we're running the bucket head. That's a shame, but that's how it works, so it's fine. The problem is there's no more uh, sunflowers to get from that one, so if it doesn't turn out okay, it's a big problem. I think we can put this guy here and it'll turn out fine. I sure hope so, because if not, we're gonna be out of sun. Okay, okay, that was a decent amount of sun. The problem is, it could have been more. Okay, so I think we're gonna put him here, that way we can immediately get some stuff out of it. Now he's gonna be slowed down, but that's okay, because look at this, we're getting more. Good, 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 good. They got through down there, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then, oh, this is tough to say. Where do I wanna put this guy? Uh, okay, they're gonna get me sun. Good, thank you guys so much. So I think these two actually will be able to get through that snow pea, so for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and put this bucket head here. And even if he gets beaten up, he should be fine. Come on, get that snow pea, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, yeah, good job up there. You deserve a raise. I'm not gonna give it to you, but if, you know, I, I you, you deserve it. <laughs> All right, well, there's that done. Hopefully we can get some pole vaulting zombies soon, that'd be fun. I mean, I think the selection of zombies you get is different each and every time. Well, no, it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not like random, at least not for here. Uh, maybe for Endless it's random, I'm not really sure. But uh, it's all predetermined here, obviously. Like the totally nuts, it's supposed to be a specific strategy and how to beat it and everything. But there we go, we defeated that uh, snow pea, so we should be able to go ahead and get that brain. And that's like, what, the fourth or fifth level already done? We're making some great progress. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and eat away at that. You're unfrozen now and we get ourselves another trophy. Okay, some good money made today so far. I mean, we make a thousand per game, so that's great. And here's uh, round number five, Dead Zeppelin. Oh, okay. So this one's a little bit different, as you can see. We have the zombie, Buckethead, Bungie Zombie, and Balloon Zombie. So it's gonna be tough trying to figure out the best case here, but I think the first thing we can do is quite clearly just, boom, put a brown coat there and get, more than his worth of sun out of it. 
There we go, good job, good job. I might go ahead and put a bucket head there. No, I forgot, because I'm a dingus. Ooh, that's a problem. That's a huge problem, because uh, I might just have to redo this. Um, I got some sun out of that, that's good. Come on, get some sun out of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I have I have a 275. This is 150 combo, so I can go ahead and bunch of you. There's no uh, umbrella leaves I have to worry about, so the moment I do this, I should be good. Um, now the balloon zombies can be helpful, the cacti take them out, but the thing is the balloon zombies, they won't eat any of the sun, so while they might be a nice shortcut to get to a, uh, a brain, beyond that they might not be too helpful. So I'm gonna try to get a, I think a, a bucket that should be able to get through these guys without too much of an issue. And then, ooh, it's tough to say. You know what, I think we're fine with this. We're just gonna let it rip. That uh, bucket head on the bottom is gonna go ahead and get rid of the other two sunflowers pretty easily. That'll give me a ton of sun. And then I might even bungee that one snow pea on the bottom. I feel like he's sort of getting in our way in a, in a prob problematic situation. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and bungee him. We get, we're getting plenty of sun, so we can manage something like that. And then with that, Buckethead should be okay, as long as you can take him. Thank you. Yeah, Buckethead versus two pea shooters that are that close, it's fine. So, if I wanted to try that, we could just go ahead and do Balloon Zombie. He flies too high for any of the other plants to get to him. And he should still eat the brain, right? If not, he'd be totally pointless. Um, Yep, there he goes. To be honest with you, I never really noticed, he looks like the trickster zombie from uh, PVC Hero. So we should be able to go and do this. And I guess the sun doesn't matter too much. You don't get like a bonus for having a ton of leftover sun. So we can just complete the level this way, which is awesome. So there we go, there's that level done. And I love all the different strategies. It's like, this could be a whole game in itself, you know, just with all the different zombies and strategies you could use. It's just crazy awesome. And we're at 43,000 coins on the dot. Pretty cool. And there we go, complete another iZombie level. And now we're, we're at me smash. Do we get a Gargantua? We do! For 300 sun, he's not even as expensive as a uh, Melon Pole. Isn't Melon Pole 325? It might be 300, actually. Anyways, we have a number of different plants going on here. We have the squash. But then we also have uh, a garlic. And the problem with the garlic, of course, is that if we try to eat that, um, it'll move us to a different lane. So we probably wanna do some other things first, and I'm trying to look, what is the best thing to do right now? I think the smartest thing is to pull Volt Zombie over the garlic, and then we have an uncontested lane where he can just munch on sunflowers. He might get destroyed by the time he gets to the uh, spike weed, I'm not sure, but we could spawn in a Gargantuar to squish some of the other ones. But in the meantime, I'm probably gonna recreate that situation here, and then that'll be awesome. So what about the rest of it? I do see some tough stuff going on here. We are getting so much sun. I think that Gargantua going through here will be good because boom, instant sun. You're gonna have a hard time stopping that Gargantua no matter how much you slow him down. So I think we should be able to get rid of that. That squash is gonna squish him, but then we can just get another one through and it's just fine. Um, for this situation, I mean, oh, there's a couple of options. First off, I think we should go ahead and do some bucket head action, and we'll also combo it up with a brown coat so that hopefully, why are you guys spitting out so much butter? <laughs> That's a problem. And these guys can simply, the gargantuars, they can just walk over, you know? It's pretty cool. They can just walk over some plants, I think, and squish them that way. Maybe not, though, hard to tell. Okay, so I might put a pole vaulting zombie here just to cause some extra little havoc for the uh, rest of the team there. And then we could just put a Gargantua here. Boing. You know what, let's do it. We have enough sun, it'll be fun. Oh, he has a brown coat this time. Look at that, boom. That's pretty funny, I like that. Okay, so we get the one brain there, and then finally, even if he takes some damage from the squash, I think he's gonna be just fine, because I need two squashes to take them out. I don't know how much damage a squash does then. Oh, he can even squish spike weed, really? I didn't know that. Okay, yep, he's fine. So there's that level done, me smash. I understand why is that, because I think Gargantua hard, <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, so for that, we get ourselves a trophy. Very, very cool. And uh, 44,000 coins in total. So we're actually making our way through this very quickly. We have Zomboogie, because we have the Disco Zombie. This is so much fun. The problem with this, as you can see, is that there are a ton of chompers and potato mines. And I'm trying to think, what is the best strategy right now? I would figured, Going here, yeah, let's do this, and we will try to 
I mean, I guess, mm, it's so hard to say, but if we could earn up 350 sun for the Disco Zombie and the put him in the center lane, he should be able to get through everything relatively easily. I mean, he might run into some issues, it's hard to say. Okay, maybe using the pole vaulting zombie would have been good as well. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, play this here and get. Yep, there we go. So here he is. I don't know if it's worth playing him just yet. Let's go ahead and put a brown coat here so that he can get some free sun. Huh. All right. Trying to think this through. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and play him now. And he's gonna go ahead and spawn in all of his friends. Ready, set, spawn him. There he goes. So they should activate some of the chompers and some of the potato mines for us, which is good because we really need more sun. Uh, the problem is that that chomper ate, but he's totally fine now. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, now, okay, now he's eating. The other one like finished up real quick. Um, there we go. See, that's actually doing some really good stuff for us then. Um, where else do I want to put this guy? I figured that maybe, okay, you made another one, awesome. I actually, he's really powerful. No, oh gosh, that was awful though. That was a really bad idea. Um, go ahead and try to do that again. Maybe this time he'll actually, why, why? <laughs> Spawn him in more quickly, dude. Oh geez, that actually might've just lost me the game. Cause I don't have enough for anything else. Uh, yeah, that's a problemo. Yeah, it looks like we just lost because that guy was silly. Cause what more can I do? I can do that and then have you, yeah, that's not gonna work. All right, let's restart. That's a pain in the butt then. It is a little bit different this time. I feel like we got a really bad generation there too. Well, for now, obviously we're gonna get a ton of sun just by going down the center lane like this. So definitely putting him in a, in a lane that doesn't have too much contesting with him is obviously a good idea. Or putting him, maybe I should put him farther back so he starts spawning friends in sooner. That might be a good idea as well. So we could start doing that, right? I could put him here. And hopefully he'll just start spawning friends in. I mean, he takes a while. I don't think he starts spawning friends in until he runs into a plant, which is actually pretty problematic. Um, but with all of this, we should be able to get through because he's gonna keep spawning in zombies over and over again, which is great. So really, if I wanna do anything here, I probably want to make you jump and then make you jump. Maybe that's a little bit excessive because then I can have you go through and you can eat stuff. And then you made some sun there, very good. And then we can have you, hopefully quickly, spawn in your friends, because he doesn't spawn in zombies until he gets there. Okay, so we're doing pretty pretty good. This is quite the tough level, if you ask me. It's not always easy, especially, I don't know if these chompers ever swallow, because they're cardboard. It's sort of weird of a concept in general. Okay, so some of these guys are gonna make it. Some of them, maybe not so much. We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna be patient for now, wait as long as we can. Of course, the Disco Zombie is another zombie that's uh, quite popular in other PvZ games. He's uh, a boss in Garden Warfare, he's Electric Boogaloo. Uh, well, he has like a variant of himself, Electric Boogaloo, in uh, PvZ Heroes. And then if he's not gonna spawn in a friend, oh no, he will, okay. Great, so there's that done. Disco Zombie is very, very powerful, but it seems like you use him correctly, it just could be a little bit difficult to do that. Anyways, there's another diamond for us. Lots of cool action going on there and we got ourselves another level unlocked. Uh, that's going to be three hit wonder. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. The thing is that we can't do a miner just yet, a digger zombie, because he will actually get his uh, pickaxe stolen by the magnet shrooms. So we'll have to be very picky about how we want to do this. That's where the cone head comes in, because the cone head can't get his cone head taken away from a a magnet shroom because it's not metal. It just doesn't work and that's really good for us. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and try to earn up a ton of sun this way. And then with this extra sun, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the bungee zombie and get rid of the, the, the magnet shrooms as much as we can. So boom, get rid of you. And then we can really use most of the, oh yeah, we got imps this time too. See, I don't know what the three hit wonder is supposed to mean, like what the pun is. Um. But what we can do is put an imp here, it's really cheap, but it will activate, boom, that. And the imp is like super low health, so usually a lot of the times he's not too helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a bungee there. Get, I mean we could just put a bucket head here, and it would do all the same. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll do a ladder zombie there, just so we can get over that pretty easily. And then once we get rid of this guy, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put an imp over there. That way the ladder zombie activates the squash and then the imp goes through, but the imp actually runs pretty quickly, so he might actually end up getting caught by the squash as well. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully not. Gosh darn it, imp. You walked a little too quick, buddy. Um, so yeah, if we wanna do this, one down here, what could I do about it? I'm thinking, mm, it's hard to say. Definitely a ladder zombie here. And then he's gonna get hit by the potato mine. And then maybe we'll just, we have tons of sun. We could go ahead and do this. Actually, I can't tell how much sun we have. The, the bulk ahead is blocking it. But go ahead and do that. And then go ahead and, I yeah, we have 725. So I can put an imp here, a, Bucket head here. Oh no, wait, I need a ladder zombie. Silly me. <laughs> okay, that should be pretty good. And then if we want to do this a little bit more quickly, we can get the miner zombie there. He's gonna mine through everything. That'll be good. So awesome, that should be everything done. And then we can move on to the second to last level. The last level before I zombie zombie endless, so that'll be fun. And I know that the achievement's a little bit less then for Vase Breaker, Vase Breaker was getting 15 in a row with Endless, but uh, for iZombie, it's, I Zombie, it's only 10. So hopefully we can get that done without too much of an issue, we'll have to wait and see. But we unlocked a new level, it's the second to last one. All your brains are belong to us, which is like a really old internet joke. Um, This one's a little confusing. I see that we have a number of things. We have the Imp, Conehead, Pole vaulting, buckethead, bungee zombie, digger zombie, ladder zombie, football zombie. It'd be cool if we could get like the zomboni, but maybe that's a little too powerful. <laughs> I think the best possible idea, oh, it's so hard to decide. Ooh, it is really hard to say. Because I could do you and get rid of you, but then I wouldn't have any sun left. So maybe I could, ooh, this is a tough one. Oh, you know, no, but that would be three right here, and that would be tough. So if I could just find a way to get some extra sun right now, like activate the squash. There we go, good, good, good. Eat through the sunflower a little bit more. That's perfect. So I'm thinking 125 for this, and then another 125 for that, and that'll be really good. So let's go ahead and get started with that. There's no other magnet shrooms, so 125. And then before I activate this, let's make sure that guy gets taken. Come on, come on. Oh, and there's a star fruit as well. That might actually make it difficult because that'll definitely attack this minor zombie a little bit. Scared to shoot scared, oh, poor guy. So we have to make sure he actually gets through in one piece or this is game over already. This is a really, really tough generation of plants in the order that they're in. The minor zombie has very, very little health. So if the star fruit does hit him a good couple of times, that could be just game over. It's a tough one for sure. Hmm. I just didn't see any other way we could feasibly do this right now. I mean, maybe, no, because there's a split pea over there, and there's so many potato mines on the top lane. That's gonna be tough, but so far this is working out okay. For whatever reason, the star fruit's not really attacking the miner zombie all too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and let him get this sunflower before we make too many more decisions. I wanna see if he can't get through this lane or not. Yeah, the star fruit just doesn't attack him. Not yet at the least. That's really bizarre. Okay. Oh, there he goes. He should be able, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much now. I'm gonna go ahead then and, I mean, I suppose we could do all-star. I think a buckethead would be just fine. The scary stream's not gonna attack us too much. These other lanes are gonna be a bit of a problem. I think that it might be smart to do another digger zombie here because these chompers will be totally useless against that instead of feeding them like tons of zombies. Um, just to get through them all. Like I thought that'd be a bit problematic. I feel like this would be easier, so we get a lot of sun right off the bat. Because how much sun do we get from a sunflower? Uh, we have 150, now we have 200 sun. And this should be 550 then. Yep, we have 200 sun from that, that's insane. Okay, so now I'm trying to figure out about this. I think the smartest thing we can do right now, I see that, oh, that triple three-peater might actually be an issue. So I might have to, ooh, that's, that's a problem, all right. But now with that split pea gone, I might even be able to just to do this, and then, I don't know if a chomper eats a pole vaulting zombie or not. We're gonna find out, and then I'm gonna put a bucket head like slightly behind him, because the chomper can only eat one zombie at a time. Oh, he just jumps right over. Okay, that's really good to know. Then we gotta put an imp on this lane. We need to, yeah, I don't know what we're doing down here. <laughs> I didn't even realize that wasn't even done. I guess a bucket head gotta 
got taken out eventually. Uh, we'll go ahead and do, I guess, a bucket head, but I might want to wait. Okay, got it. And got it. There's no normal brown coach, which does sort of muddy some things. So it makes it hard to decide, like, oh, what do I want to do where? So if I want to get over this guy, I mean, actually, I don't think the ladder, does the ladder work for him? I think it works for him. We do this, yeah, it works for him. Okay, so the rest of this is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I think we're gonna go ahead and boop, and then just like sort of get rid of as many potato mines as we can. We should be able to make our money back with these sunflowers, which is good. Okay, so he does eat the, the zombie, or he swallows it eventually. It takes a while though, but that definitely puts some like some stress on. Okay, so that should be enough for that top lane. We just have to figure out what we wanna do for the bottom. I'm guessing just an all-star will be fine. Okay, that's pretty good. Got ourselves, boom, an extra coin. And that sunflower is gonna eat up, I mean, <laughs> that imp is gonna eat up that sunflower just in case anything goes wrong, but it looks like we're good. Okay, awesome, awesome stuff. That means uh, we can move on to the endless, which is good. So I'm glad we did that in one try, get another thousand coins. We've gained almost like 10,000 coins out of all this is great. But let's see what we get. Um, yeah, it should be endless. Eyes on the endless. So, eat all of the brains to pass the level. I'm gonna try my absolute best for the, uh, for this. If we can't get the 10, that'd be awesome. Trying to take a look at the, all the openings. So we now have our umbrella leaf, which is gonna make this really difficult. I also see some other things worth noting. I would say the chompers here are gonna be a problem. Don't know what I wanna do about that just yet. We should be able to put a digger zombie here if it wasn't for the magnet shroom. So honestly, this lane isn't very high on defense. So I think that we're gonna go ahead and go for this one first. If I put you here, I'm a dingus. Every time I'm a dingus. I just wasted a ton of money by doing that. Like this star fruit's almost totally vulnerable. Um, yeah, I guess he doesn't attack at all from directly in front. Or he does a little bit. But I could have put a cone head and that would have been fine. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, because I'm a dingus. But now with you out of the picture, all of this becomes a little bit more doable. I definitely wanna put you here. And when the rest of this, I think that we're gonna, cause that's a snow pea in front of that torchwood, which means this pea is just gonna turn into a normal pea. So that's either good or bad, I don't know, because now it's after we destroyed this torchwood. Look at all the sun everywhere, oh my gosh. Okay, now we have a lot more options. So I'm thinking, we could go ahead and do you here, and that's gonna get rid of a lot of the chomper stuff, which is good. I'm actually realizing how anti-chomper the dancing zombie is. I never really use the uh, disco zombie, the dancing zombie, for this game mode too much, and I'm realizing how big of a mistake that is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the miner there, and then put a miner here, I suppose? It might not be necessary. For right now, we're gonna go ahead and just do Buckethead, lead him behind this disco zombie. That'll be pretty good. I just hope that the the miner over there doesn't get taken out from the spike weed. That'd be tough. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get rid of some of this stuff now. Cause this squash should squish the uh, disco zombie on the second to top lane. But now this pole vaulting zombie should be able to get rid of that split pee. Okay, so he did survive the uh, the spike weed up there. The disco zombie is so powerful, it's insane. I love it. Okay, so there is that done. That Snoopy on the bottom's gone. We should be able to win with all of this. Um, What do I wanna do about the top lane? I could just put an all-star there, just so that he runs through pretty quickly. Okay, so there's that done. We won the first round. I mean, we got nine more to go, but I think the sun carries over. So having 575 sun is pretty good, which is probably why I shouldn't have played the all-star or the football zombie. I should have played the bucket head. But I think we carry over our sun. Let's find out. Uh, our current streak is one. We have 575 suns still. So, how do I want to handle this one? Because if we do this right, there are no magnet rooms. I could get a lot of sun out of it. So, let's go ahead and get that done there. Then, I'm thinking I can do. Ooh, the fume shrooms do make the disco zombies' job harder. So, I think I want to go into a lane that doesn't have many of those. I think the starting thing we'll do is we'll put an imp here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the disco zombie right here. Um, I think he can handle one fume shroom. More than that might be a bit of a challenge, but the miner's gonna be making up a ton of sun on the bottom there. So even if this is a bit of a mistake, we should be okay for the most part. That bottom lane is definitely a tough one where the disco zombie comes really in handy. 
Uh, but yeah, that's really all I'm trying to do is use the disco zombie to get rid of these other zombies. I think that's a pretty good strategy. Uh, go ahead and do that. It's just we can earn up some easy sun from that imp. The imp can't even take care of a puff shroom, which is pretty sad when you think about it. Um, the poor guy, he's just trying to make everything work. It doesn't work out very well for him. Get all of that sun. We can go ahead and do another pole vaulting zombie and hope that this guy can get to the chomper before the chomper swallows. I think he can. Um, the problem with this is that we wanna be able to get rid of that puff shroom. The, uh, what's it called? Can't do that, the uh, imp. But there's also a bunch of Chompers, so that might have been a bit of a waste. I'd sort of timed that wrong. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, that also might have been badly timed. It's hard to say. Okay, so I need to go ahead and put another imp out here, and he should be able to eat that chomper before he swallows, because it moves pretty quickly. So now all we're looking to do is I suppose we could use a bucket head. It should be able to get through that, no problem. And then an imp on the bottom lane. Okay, so we did get go through on the top lane there. Very, very good. I'm hoping we can get another piece of chocolate soon. Like a lot of people underestimate the chocolate in this game because honestly, it'll make you more money than almost anything else if you have a strong Zen Garden. Like with my Zen Garden now, if I turn on the chocolate and I come back, I'll have five or 6,000 coins without having to play the game. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you have to lead the Zen Garden up. Like that's a big catch to it. So like, if you're doing other things on your computer. I mean, I guess it's fine, but if you wanna close PVZ or play PVZ at the same time, the snail doesn't really work that way. You have to have the Zen Garden open. So it's a perfect thing to do when you're editing videos, which is what I do a lot. So there we go, current streak is two. There's that done, so let's keep moving. This one's looking tough. I see the magnet shroom, but I, I do see the umbrella leaf, but it's not in a good position, so I can do that. Yep, we're good. The umbrella leaf only does what's adjacent to it, so it doesn't go any farther than that pea shooter to the left. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do this. Okay. Looking through the rest of it, though. Just trying to think. I think it would be a very, very good idea to get rid of those chompers in the bottom lane. So if I could get another minor zombie down there. Now we don't get any sun out of it, which is a shame, but it's still worth doing. Now the disco zombie, oh, the, the star fruit might make that a little bit more difficult, depending. Huh. I think we can go ahead and do a bucket head here, and that should be pretty good. I mean, there is like the three Peter, but the three Peter's not that big of a deal. Yeah, those lanes should be overall fine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put an imp here. He might be able to get like one or two sun. Yeah, he paid himself back with that, so that's pretty good. We will do, uh, hmm. I think we'll just straight up put a bucket head here, and then, uh, that might not work out, but we'll try it. I wanna see if I can't get the imp out and see if he can't get to the potato mine before the bucket head. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Fortunately, we're losing out on that bucket head then. Or, I mean, I could do this. It still might not work out the way I want it to. Probably not, but I think it'll make some things easier. Uh, so I did make some mistakes. Definitely gonna cost me some sun this time around. But I think we could just like put an all-star here, that'll be nice. But you might have noticed that I guess our choice, our selection in zombies doesn't change, which is sort of a shame. I think it would've been cool if it changed with each one. Um, Okay, maybe that was a bit of a mistake. I don't know if the, oh yeah, I was supposed to put the imp down there. Okay, so we should've won with all of that. I don't think the pole vaulting zombie is gonna get taken out by a puff shroom of all things. Yeah, he's fine. Okay, so that's a win for us. Very, very good. So that's three out of 10. We're getting there. Oh, good job. We got a thousand coins for that. I appreciate it. Why didn't we get a thousand coins for a three streak and vase breaker? <laughs> okay, um, hmm. So once again, I try to point out everything that's gonna get in our way. I see the umbrella leaf there. I see the magnet shroom here. Now these are close enough because the umbrella leaf does, I'm using the cone head as like a pointer. The umbrella leaf is gonna protect all of that. So if we wanna get this done, we need to either get rid of the, yeah, I think that we'll get rid of them in the more traditional sense by doing this. I don't think the uh, pea shooter and puff shroom are gonna be able to get rid of a cone head like that. Oh, the star fruit might be enough so that they do though. So that's actually a bit of a problem. Can they just get rid of this magnet shroom? That's all he needs to do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, good job. We are very low on sun. I don't know what happened to all of it. I feel like maybe we just spent a lot of it before. So our best bet right here is to definitely go through that way. Hmm, what do we want to do after that? 
I don't know, that's gonna get us a ton of sun though. So if we can just keep moving after that. Pole vault over this guy, earn up some easy sun. The star fruit's becoming a pain in my butt, so I might go ahead and like, just even pop an all-star over there might be good. I mean, it might be smart to do disco zombie here. It's gonna be expensive, and that's sort of where I'm like, yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. But that'll get rid of some of these chomper problems we're having if the imp can immediately get destroyed. Absolutely just like, hello world, bleh. <laughs> this is just, that's just what happened to the poor guy. So, oh, the three Peters P shooting is getting on fire because of the torch with that. I was getting a little confused. That's something to keep in mind. Yeah, the three Peter makes that a little bit more complicated than I'd like it to be. Hmm. I'm thinking we might just pole vault over it then, just like this, and just try to eat away at that uh, that star fruit as much as I possibly can. Oh, but we're slowed now. Oh, that's tough. That is really tough. Because I really don't want to have to waste too much resources getting through with all that, but I might just have to. I'm just trying to hope that the disco zombie can get some good stuff done for us, but might not be the case. Oh yeah, the disco zombie just got taken out. Luckily his friend should be able to get rid of a good chunk of things there. I can, oh man, this is tough. This might be the end of me right here, depending on how things go. Oh, why do you have to be doing so much damage to my poor friend there? See, why do you hit the, the, the minor zombie? The other guys didn't hit him directly like that. That's so weird. Uh, come on, can you get one bite in there? No, you can't. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy there. And let's see what you can do. You should be able to eat through this cone head, or the, eat, the, eat through this fruit, then get that, and then you should be able to just walk to victory. Now, I think a cone head can survive this, which is good, because it needs to. Uh, we are starting to get into a bad spot, that's for sure. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that, and then I'll put a bucket head down here, and that should be no problem. Let's just hope that cone head survives. I might want to give him a friend, but that might not be worth it. We're gonna try for it. I'm gonna be out of sun, so we need to make some good decisions next turn. I mean, I don't know what happens when you're out of sun, you know? Like, I'm out of sun, does that mean I wanna fail next turn? Cause I just won't have anything to start with? I'm not sure. I think it might just give you some if you if you have nothing. Come on, come on, come on, Ethereum. Nice job up there. I was gonna say down there, but that's wrong place. Okay, so we did it. Streak three is done, we're gonna move on to four. I don't know what our chances are of getting 10 is right now. <laughs> Okay, so, ah, that stinks. So yeah, I guess if you don't have any sun for the next round, it's over. That is actually, I mean, I needed that guy to get through that uh, puff room, so it was like I needed to do it. But man, that's a shame. I could try again, but we're already like 30, 40 minutes into today's episode. I definitely think there's gonna be, you know, a point in the future where we go back into those puzzles and try to do the Vase Breaker Endless to 15 and the Zombie Endless to uh, 10. But that won't be right now. Um, as you can see though, we've completed all the puzzles, which means next episode we'll be getting started on survival. That's gonna be a ton of fun. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully everything turns out well. But because of that, we'll probably start buying some more of these guys over here. So we're gonna save all of our spending fun for the next episode, that'll be great. But you can tell there's a ton of awesome plants heading our way that I'm so excited to try out. For now though, I might as well spend some money on this golden uh, watering can. This makes life a little bit easier for the Zen Garden. Um, I don't really have too many examples, but as you can see, it waters up to four plants at once. So when you first log on for the day and there's like just ton of plants like, water me, water me, um, it's really easy to handle it because like I can just do in four clicks, get all of these guys watered instead of having to click each one individually, which would have been 16, you know, which is really crazy. So that's super duper helpful, makes using the Zen Garden really easy. So with all that being said, we are all wrapped up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you watched the part of the video, make sure you comment I Zebra so now you've watched at the end of the You're a Zebra Tazic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.